Hello everyone, it's me again. In 15 days, actually 17 days, wow. 17 days I will have yet another birthday. But I'm not doing this video to say, hey, everyone tell me happy birthday. Rather, I'm doing this video to tell you, there are those who dread getting older. There are those who dread a lot of things in life. But I want to tell you, I celebrate every birthday for many reasons. The first of which is, it's another reminder that there is a God. You see, in my life, I was supposed to die before I was 12. And yes, in 17 days, on the 25th day of November, I will be 40 years old. Some say it's over the hill. Some say it's a bad thing. Me, I say it's another day to show just how powerful God is. Maybe you don't believe in God. That's okay. For me, I believe because he's done so many miraculous things in my life. I just wanted to share today a little glimmer of hope. Whatever you're going through, however your life is treating you, maybe your circumstances are not good. Remember this. We can always look at the situation and be under it, or we can be on top of it. I just did a recent post on Facebook to help bring things into perspective. You see, for me, I can't use anything below my neck very much. I can use my mouth, my eyes, some of my hands, very little, a little bit of my feet and toes, but I can't walk, I can't hug, I can't go to the bathroom without assistance. There's a lot of I can't. However, in my life, I have learned to try to focus on those things that I can do. And the things that I can do is to encourage you to focus on those things that you can do. If you're watching this video, you can obviously see. If you have children, you can obviously reproduce. There are those that can't. If today you're able to eat a meal without it being blended or pureed, you obviously are able to swallow. If that's all we can focus on, let's focus on those things. Let's give thanks for those things. You see, I'm reminded of a time when I first got my very first power wheelchair. For the first time, I was able to move around without calling out for someone to help take me from room to room. You might laugh to know one of the first things that I did was roll into the kitchen of my house make my way to the kitchen drawer. With all the strength I had in my hands, I grabbed the drawer handle, I pulled it open, using my chair, of course, for momentum to back up. I reached inside, grabbed a spoon, took it to the living room, opened the front door by pushing it open with my power chair, and threw the spoon on the front porch to show my mom that I had done something on my own. For me, that was a big, humongous time of celebration and a relief of joy, something so small, yet for me it was so big. Today, take a little time, stop, look at the small things you're able to do. Maybe it's a hug, maybe it's a smile. You know, that's often what I get complimented on is my ability to smile at others as they pass by. I'm often asked, why do you smile? My answer is often, why not? Sometimes my answer is, because I can. Remember, there are those that can't. Whatever it is today that you're going through, stop looking at the negative. Take a moment. Find a positive. Focus on that. And I guarantee your negatives will seem so much smaller. Have a great day.